right? I'm coming from the... Y'all know this time traveling shit keeps me confused. I'm coming... I'm coming from the... I'm coming from the past to let y'all know what's going to happen at the end. As you see, I'm sipping on grape, but I don't start with grape. So we're going to be sampling some ambrosia. But yo, that lymphatic system family, we need to really, really have a discussion about it. Let's get it popping, right? We're going to finish it up today. Peace. It is. It's a great one. All right. So I want to welcome all those that's here now and all those to be here in the future. We about to do our daily toast. Of course, y'all know we gotta get our water first. Shoot for those thirty-two ounces straight in the morning. Actually, a little bit more than thirty-two, but y'all get the idea. Try to have some distilled water before this weekend. Mm. I'm slipping. Bring them out. 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 Huh? Uh, somewhere between the ground and the sky, and ain't touching dirt. No way. But uh, I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I just been brewing. So, oh, by the way, those that don't know me, she just asked how I'm doing, and I'm just letting her know. So, mm. get your water. Come on, jump that day off. Got that life to flow through you. The glass mean right I know what another glass mean or do y'all okay no it don't mean Gina about to come back come down here what it means is I got some flavors to sample one push it I guess I guess drinking water is sort of like working out <clears throat> mm. 
All right, family, today we're going to continue talking about the lymphatic system. I know we've been on it for three days. It's very important, though, because I was looking over some more of the information after I got off the um, I got off the um, broadcast yesterday, and I said, Dang, "I gotta finish this." So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that now. This one right here is the coconut water mix. It's been sitting for about three days now. Y'all seen it, so I won't I'm gonna be pressed about it. I just show y'all the other flavors. Alright, so once again, great Ujima. Uh, for those that don't know, Ujima is collective work and responsibility. Um, it's also the day uh, on the mod principle is righteousness. Um, the M7 is respect. Um, the hermetic law is vibration. The male name for those born on this day it's Kwaku the female name is Akua alright so first give an honor to the creator by whatever name you choose call it creator we call that great force into our lives call it to walk with us walk around us walk through us we call that ever present all powerful energy into our presence and we say I say from there move on to our personal ancestors man so I'm gonna take a moment to reflect because I just got hit by a thought about one of mine alright we toast our personal ancestors we allow them to move through us. We allow them to move with us. We ask for them to move with us. We ask for their blessings. We ask for the wisdom. We ask for their guidance. We ask for their interventions. We ask for them to move through us and touch others and the people that's in our lives. We call on those ancestors. We call for their blessings. And we also send blessings to them. We send thoughts of them out into the universe. So we call those ancestors into our presence. And we say our shame. From there, we move on to our, this moment, which is Ujima. Collective worker, the day of collective worker responsibility, the day of, uh, of looking for righteousness in those around us. Okay? You know what I'm saying? The day of practicing respect. You know what I'm saying? Because it's more than just just changing the name of the day. You know, it's about trying to practice the principles. It's trying to remember the principles at times when it's rough to remember the principles. So, we toast the day of Ujima and we say, Ashe. From there, we move on to our children, our children's children, on to infinity. We toast them in advance so that they could toast us in the future. And we say, Ashay. From there, any special things, any ailments, any blessings that you need, any challenges you need to overcome, we toast that right now. We ask the ancestors to come in and help you with that, or help me with that, or whatever you got. So now is the time to start asking, because the energies are with us. We toast and we say, Ashay, Ashay. Shay. Wish y'all peace, power, joy, and 100 years. Coconut water holding it together. But it's maturing. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's not as sweet as it was yesterday. Man, oh man. The life of that ambrosia. All right.
So, one of the pleasures of being a brewer is that I get to taste all of the different flavors all of the time. So, what I have here is the remnants of four gallons that I have been blessed to be able to participate in the process of making. On the far right, Facebook can't see, I got the grape. Next to that one, I have the cherry. Next to that one is that lemon lime, ginger, and in the back, I have that Death Eater. Now, the Death Eater is different this time. It is totally, totally the Death Eater recipe. There is no green tea in it. It's straight burdock root and dandelion root. I have trained one of the Scobies to handle that. Mmm. So let's get the sampling. All right. Get the morning start off right. We're going we're gonna to try this lemon lime and ginger. Ooh, that ginger is strong. Now, I changed the recipe just a little bit. Lemon, lime, and ginger is rough, y'all. Let me tell you what I mean. Now, lemon, lime, and ginger. For some reason, I cannot get lemon, lime, and ginger to bubble up on a regular basis. It just sits in the bottom. So I don't know whether it's the lemon and the lime or it's the ginger, but something, something is so strong that it will not allow the ambrosia to do what it does after I remove the scoby and all that. But it's good for you. Purifies, cleanses, the sample. This, this recipe also has just a little bit of salt in it. So let's check it out. So it make a difference. <sighs> that one deserves a dance. <sighs> I ain't gonna do the dance. Right now. I'm not gonna. I, I should have did the dance, but I'm not gonna do the dance. That lemon, lime, and ginger. That's the truth. Just a little bit of salt. Just a little bit of salt in the recipe changed everything. I ain't, you know. So, all right. Next up is that cherry. Whoa. Did y'all hear that? Cherry ready to get down. Man, I love being a craftsman. I'm glad. I'm glad I learned how to do this. Death Eater? No. Kind of look like cherry. This is the Death Eater. Pure. 100% Death Eater Dandelion Root Burdock Root. Those of you out there, um, y'all might want to look this one up. Dandelion Root Burdock Root. Ooh. All right. My 
nasty. Earthy. Still hanging on to a little bit of sweetening, just just a little bit. All of those last one, all of those I got bottled up, and most of them are gone. Last one is great, and I'm gonna let you go, Facebook. All right, so we're gonna be talking about you did. Uh, you gonna get it to me? You sharing? Then Sheila say she dried out some dandelion root. You share? Alright. So. Whoa. That's one of the benefits of this ambrosia, man. So here we go. Last one. That grape. And thank you for the share. Okay. Go on and send me some. Please. Alright. So we got that great, the last one. All right. Somebody else is up on the line. Now, family, I'm just I'm just sharing the different flavors that I got ready now. So y'all, we toasted with the uh, coconut water. Of course, I'm, we're going to talk about the coconut water real soon. All right. We did the lemon lime. We did the death eater. We did the cherry. We did the grape. So five flavors. I got ginseng too. But um, the brothers don't play with their ginseng. So I ain't have none of that left at all. You know what I'm saying? That was ginseng was gone before. Ginseng was gone before I put it in the bottles. All right, so now what I was going to do last night on the show was I was going to eat some, um, I was going to show y'all uh, uh, a ginseng root. I ain't got none. But now, what we about to talk about, Facebook, I'm out of here. I want to thank you for joining us. We about to talk about that lymphatic system, part three. So y'all need to tune in, move over to YouTube, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, stay on Facebook, but move over to YouTube. Check out the YouTube station or YouTube channel. I think that's what they call them. YouTube channel. Just follow, follow me on YouTube. Hi, Tim. H-A number 2-T-I-M. Peace and have a great day, fam. Peace. All right. It's the mighty YouTube fam. What's going on, y'all? So let's kick it, right? We gonna kick it now. I know y'all noticed that. Hopefully, y'all noticed that the camera's a little bit different because because uh, some of y'all, I hope some of y'all been paying attention, right? You got the camera just a little bit different, right? The next investment is uh, a professional. I ain't gonna be a professional camera, but it's gonna be a nice camera. We are gonna get us a nice camera so that we can keep on growing together, right? So let me get that out the way. I want y'all to be sure, be assured that Brother I Tim is about to take his supplements. Alright. Gonna do a little oil letting. And then we also gonna take that black sea oil. Alright. So now, yesterday after I got off, because I thought that was gonna be the last one, I looked at some more articles and I said we gonna have to finish on the lymphatic system, man, because it's like, it's incredible, man, right? So now I found an article from um, a site called Branch Basics, and it says, 16 ways to activate your lymphatic system. So we talked about what the lymphatic system do. We talked about some foods that we could possibly eat to stimulate the lymphatic system. But I wasn't really satisfied with some of the exercises and stuff that they were saying. So I wanted to make sure that I got you this information. Because like I said, that's what it's about, right? Sometime I come with the commentary. Sometime I come with the ideas. Sometime I focus on the principles. Right now, I want to focus on a system in a body that is not getting 
in a sense, the coverage that we needed that I feel we needed to get because, uh, you know, when I stumbled on um, the the lymphatic system for myself, I was shocked that I, you know what I'm saying, maybe, maybe I was asleep during in school when they covered this, right? And I'm like, yo, man, one of the reasons that a lot of stuff for me, make me, my mother, my mother described, described, or at least all part of the family as late bloomers, right? You know, um, out of my grandfather's and grandmother's kids, we always considered ourselves late bloomers, right? It's like life move on, everybody get everything, but then later on, we come moving slow, you know what I'm saying, and blossom, right? So, I'm, I consider myself a late bloomer, and I'm able to take stuff a lot more serious now in my older age, and I'm just, and I stressed this yesterday, family, we got to find a way to to create a sense of urgency in our children, a sense of urgency in our young people, not just not just the baby, but so that they can start taking the information a little bit more seriously because I don't understand how I missed this in health class. If we covered the lymphatic system in health class and I, maybe I just, maybe I wasn't paying attention, right, on how important this is, right? Because this whole system is, is, it's incredible what this system does. And I'm not, and I'm just now hearing about it. 16 ways to activate your lymphatic system. Lymph, the missing link in liver detox. Thinking about doing a detox cleanse or reducing your chemical exposure. If you've been following along with are common household chemicals to avoid series. So now these people right here, Branch Basics got a, a chemical, common household chemical to avoid. And I know I'm messing with a whole bunch of those. And I know a lot of y'all messing with a lot of those chemicals, right? So you might want to check that series out. You know how easy it can be to start moving harmful chemicals from your home. Many people get discouraged when they go um, on a fast or start moving toxins from their liver, from their lives because they feel sick or, or feel tired and, and don't know why. Why would that happen? One reason may be that the lymphatic system is backed up and not able to keep up with the chemicals the body is trying to unload. So we're surrounded by poisonous chemicals every day, family. Every day. You know what I'm saying? Because we got to understand, if I keep you sick and tired, because, like, you know, I look at it from an oppositional uh, position, right? There's an enemy. There's an enemy, right? And this enemy needs to keep you. It ain't even an enemy. We are. We are prisoners. We are in bondage, right? And people have to, the, the, the individuals in charge, right? Because some people call them 1%, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. You know what I'm saying, the conspiracy or whatever. But the PC is, I got to keep you working. You know what I'm saying? I got to keep you just healthy enough to go to work, but just, just health, just, just health, but just sick enough that you're too tired to think. Right? You don't really want to no change, you know what I'm saying, so I got to keep you busy, so eight hours out the day, I need to make sure that you're able to be productive, right, because if you listen in America, it's growth, 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 that's all we talk about, growth, 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 you listen to the to the uh, business news, it's about growth, 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 but the question you got to kind of, I don't think nobody ever asked themselves is, where the hell, what, what the hell are we growing into? You know what I'm saying? Growth, growth, growth. You know what I'm saying? I, I heard them talking about like Ford Motor Company just just got rid of their uh, um, chief executive officer because he wasn't growing the company fast enough. You know what I'm saying? Even though he brought in record record levels of profits, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't 
you know what I'm saying? The, the stock went down a little bit and, you know, boom, they got rid of them because we need growth, 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 growth. You know what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't enough that we got the number one Chuck series. We got to grow, 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 grow. And every company is in a rush to grow. And what we don't under, what, what a lot of us don't understand is what growth means is that they're able to become more profitable. And that means that these corporations will do anything to become more profitable, right? But in order for them to become profitable, you got to be a good worker, right? So I got to keep you just well enough to work but not well enough to think, right? So I'll fill your house up with chemicals that will keep you sick and I'll give you pills that can keep you coming to work, all right? And, and we we got to understand this, man. We we are dealing with some, some wise wickedness. You see what I'm saying? Some very wise wickedness. So I'm going to poison you I'm going to feed you unhealthy foods. I am going to provide you with everything that you believe make you feel comfortable and make you feel good. But it's really making you sick. I got to keep you sick. I got to keep you weak. Because when you're sick, you know you don't think, right? And if I get you used to the, the sick feeling, you will think the sick feeling is normal. Many of us are existing and operating feeling that this sickness and this unbalanced feeling that we are in is normal. We believe that it's normal to be stressed like this. Right? You know what I'm saying? We think it's normal to be sick and always have a runny nose. We think it's normal to have aches and pains. We think it's normal to age and to start falling apart. Family, that shit is not normal. This is why I'm stressing this whole lymphatic system and this driving our young people and start driving ourselves and start taking shit serious, right? And of course, y'all know Brother Hatem ain't talking about the type of seriousness where we're not having some fun, where we're not enjoying ourselves. But I'm talking about being serious enough to really understand that something is not right. Right? When you could turn on the turn on the radio or turn on the news and motherfuckers is talking about growing all the damn time. Anything you know the only thing that that grows constantly is cancer. Have you ever realized that? Trees stop growing, humans stop growing, cells stop growing. The only thing that don't stop growing is cancer disease it don't stop right hmm make you think right all right or maybe it don't make you think all right find out how to ramp out ramp up your lymphatic system for more efficient garbage pickup and elimination when you start any detox program all right so you know that lymphatic system helps get that garbage out now, I'm reading because I'm not an expert on none of this stuff. I'm not coming to y'all as an expert. I'm coming to you as a as a fellow explorer, right? And I want us to be learning and growing and experimenting together. And I would love for you to share your stuff. So down below, you know what I'm saying, in the comments, give me some of your ideas. Give me some stuff that you would like me to cover as well, right? Because I'm, I'm coming up with new stuff all the time. Of course, I'm going to go back to my to my rants and real soon, I'm going to go back to building up on the principles and stuff. But let's go and get through this. A peak function, a, a peak function in the lymphatic system is key to health and vitality. But this critically important part of the body is one that most people don't appreciate or know much about. That was like myself. Your lymphatic system is your body's built-in sanitation center. The plumbing that carries away the, the and filters out poisonous waste products from every cell, tissue, and organ. It absorbs fats and fat-soluble vitamins from the digestive tract and delivers them to the cells of the body. It is also an essential part of the immune system that maintains fluid levels, fight infections, and produce disease-fighting white blood cells. 
twice as extensive as the arterial blood supply system, which brings oxygen and nutrients to the cell. The lymph is the takeaway garbage collector and is the largest circulatory system in the body. But the lymphatic system needs your help to move the filled fluid through the body because it doesn't have an automatic pump like the heart, which moves the blood in the circulatory system. Told you that yet. Told you all that yesterday. Just a little bit of review. We got the review every day a little bit. Uh, we talked about what the lymph, lymph system is made of. Uh oh, but this got some lymphatic vessels. We talked about that uh, yesterday. Lymphocytes, we talked about that. Lymph nodes, we talked about that. Tonsils, adenoids, appendix. The appendix, y'all hear about people getting appendix taken out. And the pear patches, small masses of lymphatic tissues that prevent infection in areas where bacteria is abundant. You remember when they used to tell us the appendix, some of y'all might be on up the, you know, the appendix don't serve no purpose. So we just gonna go in and move that shit out. Do y'all remember, do y'all remember when we was young, how they used to just want to take kids' tonsils out? I'm so glad my mom's insurance wasn't that good at that time. They was just taking tonsils out like it was nothing, all right? But that's part of the lymphatic system. The appendix, part of the lymphatic system. Spleen, part of the lymphatic system. All right? The thymus, a small gland under your breastbone that helps produce white blood cells. Wow. The, the spleen, we just talked about, the organ connected with the lymph system that produces lymphocytes. So, you know, a lot of these, what are they called? The diseases that attack the body. Somebody out there know what I'm talking about. When your own body works against itself, they call them autoimmune diseases, right? A lot of these autoimmune diseases may be the result of the lymphatic system not not working right. You, we're not moving and helping the fluid move, right? Bone marrow is part of the lymphatic system. Where lymphocytes, a type of white blood cells, are born. Damn. Healthy cells mean a healthy body. All right, so let's move on. Let's get this. Lymphatic congestion, a major factor leading to inflammation and disease. Okay? We keep running into this word inflammation. So we're going to start talking. I'm on, um, we're going to do a show totally on inflammations and dealing with inflammation. Because, you know, inflammation is basically when something starts swelling up. Right? Boom. That's the beginning of sickness. Like, for example, when you was younger and you was running around and you hit something and you would get a, 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 a swelling. So it also happens internally. So we got to get rid of some of that stuff. If the lymph is not flowing well, the cells are poisoned from their own waste and the lymph fluid becomes a toxic cesspool. Let me say that again. If the lymph is not flowing well. The cells are poisoned from their own waste and the lymph fluid becomes a toxic cesspool, resulting in fatigue, swelling, infection, inflammation, and disease. A combination of a sedentary lifestyle, poor diet, and a toxic environment all contribute to this backup. Rapid improvements in the quality of cells and blood occur once Easy lifestyle changes are made so the lymphatic system is active and working efficiently. What backs up the lymph? Lack of movement. Proper lymphatic flow requires deep breathing. Didn't I say that? Deep breathing and body movement. The contraction of skeletal muscles force tiny one uh, force tiny one way valves of the lymph system to open and close and push the fluids to the subclavian veins. Dehydration. Dehydration. Being dehydrated can contribute to poor lymphatic drainage and cause lymphatic stagnation. Like I told you, a lot of us is dehydrated and don't even know it. Stress. The waste products of stress-fighting hormones are acidic and an acid body leads to lymph congestion. Chronic digestive imbalance. Chronic constipation or diarrhea due to damaged intestinal villa promotes lymph congestion. Processed foods. 
An unhealthy diet, particularly one containing processed foods and bad fats, will lead to a sluggish lymphatic system. Chemical exposures. When your body is exposed to harmful chemicals in the skin, the body and, and in the skin and body care products, cleaning products, or pesticides, it may be un unable to unload or detoxify immediately. What, acti what activates the lymph system? I'm almost done, family. We had 33 minutes. An, act an active lymphatic system will help to reduce your toxic body burden, increase circulation, and revitalize your health. Here are many options that will get your lymphatic system moving and pumping out toxins. You find that some of these tips are fun to put into action. Many of them are inexpensive or free, and most involve minimal time and effort. Pick three or four suggestions that work for you and put them into practice for 10 days. Experience the difference it makes in your energy and well-being. Take a few minutes for deep breathing. It's crazy how the ancestors just line stuff up. I mean, y'all don't. I mean, y'all don't see this. You know what I'm saying? We started off talking about deep. We started off talking about deep breathing. We. I sent videos out for those of you on the challenge about uh, fact. Although the lymphatic system has no pump like the heart in the circulatory system, the movement from the act of breathing. That we do 24-7, if we're doing it right, is a lymphatic pump in itself and can help direct lymph through the chest. Proper breathing is the most important facilitator of lymphatic functions. Constant shallow breathing leads to lymphatic congestion. Breathing through the mouth. I added that last part. Breathing wrong. Every now and then you got, you know what I'm saying? Every now and then you got, y'all got to sit back at your desk or wherever you are. Some of y'all just be sitting around watching TV. Sit up. Start all the way in the belly. Take a breath with me, family. Not only allow that our shade to flow. See, that our shade not only brings in but it helps pump all these poisons out. Tip, augment the circulation of lymph through deep diaphragmic breathing. Breathe in slowly through the nose, deeply pushing the stomach out. Slowly let, low, let your breath go out through your mouth. Deep, slow diaphragmic breathing for even just five to 10 repetitions or up to 10 minutes a day will oxygenate the blood circulate the lymph especially around the liver and provide many other benefits if possible do this exercise outside in the fresh air hydrate daily i didn't even know about that i mean i'm gonna be honest i didn't know about the lymphatic system before this but already two Things that we do every day when we do the toast, fam. Hydrate daily with water. Dehydration is a common cause of lymph congestion. Lymph becomes thicker and less mobile when you are dehydrated, but flows well when hydrated. Water and truly only pure water can ad adequately hydrate the body. The best lymph moving rehydration technique is to sip hot purified water every 15 minutes throughout the day. Keep a thermos of hot water nearby to make it easy. Don't overcompensate. We are not promoting over drinking. Use urine color to help determine hydration level. If your urine is clear, you are drinking too much water. Helpful chart. They, got, they even provide a chart in this one, right? The name of the article is 16 ways to activate uh, is branch basic. Alright, look up lymphatic system actually just go to google and google lymphatic system you find a lot of good information dry brush your skin dry brush dry skin brushing promotes lymphatic drainage of toxic waste which re results in many other benefits such as improved immunity refreshed skin and reduction of cellulite 
alternative hot and cold in your shower. Cold exposure, right? I ain't talk to y'all about that. I ain't talk to y'all about that, right? Come on, fam, let's get it. Fact, lymphatic vessels contract when exposed to cold and dilate in response to heat. A hot and cold shower is a type of hydrotherapy that uses the properties of water temperature and pressure to move stagnant lymphatic fluid, increase circulation, boost the immune function, and, met and metabolism. After dry skin, skin brushing, supercharge your morning shower extends by alternating hot and cold water for between 90 seconds and several minutes. Four, be sure to always end on cold water. No. Avoid this if you are pregnant or if you have a heart or blood pressure condition. Move around whenever you can. We don't need to read on that one. Go for a walk. Jump on a rebounder. We talked about that one yesterday. Bounce on an exercise ball. I had one, but my kids at work. Not my kids at home, but my kids at work broke two of them. Stretch or practice yoga daily. Get a lymph massage. Far infrared, infrared sauna or infrared sauna. Fat, far infrared saunas provide a gentle side effect free effective mechanism for detoxification. Their waves penetrate deep into the human body, elevating the blood surface temperature, activating circul circulation, sweating, and excretion of toxin from the lymph and blood through the skin. The heat also increases your heart rate and encourages deep breathing, which boosts the drainage process even further. You get one of these in your house. They're kind of expensive, but they work. Alright. Consider your bras and underwear. The breast, arm, and upper chest area are, are drained by a large cluster of lymph nodes found in the armpit, underwear, bras, or any bra that leaves red marks or indensity. Of course, they ain't made for us red marks, right? You know what they mean, right? Too much pressure, too tight. Marks or indentations from being too tight interferes with lymphatic circulation and may contribute to swollen lymph nodes, uh, fibrocystic breast tissue, and breast cancer. For men, tight pants and briefs restrict the floral and flag fluid. Alright, some of y'all be wearing them tight, t some of you brothers wearing them tight drawers, need to cut it out. Fluids in the testicle causing toxic buildup, which can lead to infertility and greater chance of development casting. Cosmetic and skin care products. Cosmetics and skin care products. Antiperspirant, I wanted to mention that, right? Be careful using antiperspirant because it stops the sweat, and the sweat is one of the ways that the lymphatic system pushes the poisons out your skin. Your skin is the largest organ of elimination and absorption. What goes on the skin goes into the body, into the lymph, and adds to the trash load. Avoid, avoid products that include synthetic preservatives, fragrance, spoman agents, other harmful synthetic chemicals. Instead, seek out cosmetic and skincare products that use safe plant based or food grade ingredients as they will ultimately be served through your skin and processed by your lip. Eat whole foods, especially healthy fats and veggies. We'll get into that one. Um, drink herbal teas that affect the lymph. There are herbal teas that step up the lymphatic acids such as red clover, astragalus, mullein, golden seal, fango, greek, ginger, wild indigo root, sarsaparilla, golden seal and olive leaf tea the olive leaf is we're going to talk about the olive leaf try to incorporate one of these teas or blend several of these into your daily routine understand how the lymph works and what to do to mobilize your lymphatic system is priceless information it can make the difference in smoother detox process catching or not catching a cold or having a flu free winter the exciting news is that keeping the lymph moving doesn't have to cost money. 
Just move with a few daily exercises, drink plenty of water, and eat healthy food. When the lymph is working, the complexion glows, and the body is full of vitality. And if you become ill, you have tools to help regain your health. This is a fundamental part of the conscious, preventative health care plan. Coming conscious, being awake. Alright, so that's it for the lymphatic system family. That was like 120 minutes, right? But we learned something new. I mean, so um, don't do your supplements, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm about to do mine. Do your oil letting if that's what you're going to do. And let's get it, family. I'm going to finish this and I say peace, power, joy, and I wish you 100 years. Thank you for joining. Make sure you like, comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know about what you think about the information. If you got some information to throw and add in, please do. Let's get the conversation jumping, y'all. Because listen, listen, health is wealth, right? Health is wealth. Now, this ain't a health show. I just need y'all to know that. I just do healthy shit, all right? So, this is Brother Hot Tim, and I'm out. Thank you for watching the video. I want you to subscribe. Click the bird right there fiery bird and I also have a special video just for you right there and for those that want more information about Jeremy journey go to our site it should be right about there peace